NBA. The Grizzlies begin playing in the fall of 1995. I was just six years old when the Grizzlies came to Vancouver, and I was completely obsessed with the team. I just loved watching them win or lose. But the true story of my team remains one of basketball's greatest unsolved mysteries. The Grizzlies have the worst record in the history of the NBA. At that time, you know, we weren't very good. They were terrible. We were going into every game thinking we can win. It just didn't turn out that way. It was the first time I ever started drinking beer, because <laughs> you know, I didn't think I could take it. Even though the Grizzlies struggled to win on the court, they were my team. So when they suddenly relocated to Memphis, Tennessee in 2001, it broke my heart. I was shocked. Crestfallen. I never saw it coming. It didn't seem like it was fair, and it didn't seem right. More than two decades later, I'm on a mission to figure out who killed the Vancouver Grizzlies. Like, there's so many people you could point fingers at. For some reason, I put all the blame on Stu Jackson. It almost looked as if he wanted us to not be good. And of course, there was Steve Francis. Oh my god, there he is, there he is, there he is. I think Vancouver fans were absolutely lied to. I'm going to try my best to make this a success in Vancouver. We need to subpoena the financials or something. And I think any time you, know, you leave something undone, it haunts you. The truth may be out there, but it is difficult to find. We need to know the truth about why the Vancouver Grizzlies left town. And I won't stop until I do.